What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be continuing working on the lock-on system. This time we are going to be adding the target reticle or target indicator, whatever it's called, which will be displayed on the enemy when we are locked onto them. So you go and lock on. And as you can see, the camera is now looking great. You can no longer rotate around the player while you are locked on, only slightly. But yeah, as you can see, over here we have this target indicator, which can uh, look however you want it to. I created this one myself using Photoshop, and I didn't really put too much effort into it. However, I think it's okay for a placeholder and I will leave a link to it in the description. So if you guys want to use this one, uh, just check it out, check out the description and you'll probably find the download link. If you guys are enjoying the RPG videos coming very fast, uh, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And yeah, let us get started. So over here I have my target indicator, which I have made in Photoshop. And I have opened my project, which doesn't have it implemented. So I'm gonna go to the widgets folder and I'm just gonna drag it in to import it real quick. So just drag it in and you should see that it is imported now. Now what we need to do is we need to create a brand new widget just for the lock on uh, target or reticle. So I'm just gonna go and right click user interface widget blueprint and I'm gonna call it lock on underscore widget and you know it could have been done in the HUD widget or something but this will make it much simpler and easier to implement by giving it its own widget and it will just make things cleaner so I really recommend doing that also I'm making it normal scale it got imported squished I'm not sure why but yeah just make it normal scale anchor it to the middle and you want to place it in the middle middle so I'm just gonna scale it until it's roughly very much in the middle so compile and just close the lock on widget. I think that's all we're gonna need to do here. Or actually, no, one more thing. If you select it and go to the alpha here, we can make it a little bit transparent and that would give it a more cool effect. So I'm just gonna go with 0.7 instead of one. Or actually, no, 0.6. And I'm gonna compile. And yeah, we are done with the widget for now. We might have to scale it from here. We'll see about that. But for now we are done with the widget i'm gonna go back to the blueprints folder and we are gonna implement it to the enemy character so just open bp enemy and over here we can add component widget which is similar to what we did with the health bar it's gonna be something similar so just add in widget i'm gonna call it lock on reticle And if we go to the viewport, we are going to add the actual thingy. So with the lock on reticle selected, you choose the widget class, which is the lock on widget. And there you go. You have it. It is huge. So we're just going to go to we're going to make the parent be the mesh because, you know, we want it to be attached to the mesh and I'm going to make the draw size 50. And I noticed that the draw size doesn't actually, like, it depends on the actual uh, size of the widget. So I'm just going to change the scale from here to be 0 0.1. No, that's way too small. 0 0.3, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I don't need to do them all. Okay. And instead of world, actually, we want to make it at the stomach, near the stomach. And instead of world, we are going to make it screen so that you can see it wh wherever you are. Like it's, it'll be always facing where you are, where you are. So you can't go behind it. That's what screen is for. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too small. So if we compile and hit play, we can actually see it already. No, it's not small and it will actually change the size depending on where you are. 
so yeah it's actually huge so we're gonna have to make it smaller over here I'm gonna make it 0 0.1 and compile and right now we have implemented it and it actually works it has nothing to do with the lock on it's always there and it doesn't ever go away so we are gonna have to do something about that it's gonna be also very simple so don't you guys worry however I still think it is quite big so I'm gonna go back to the widget and actually make it smaller so just do it like this I don't like manual scaling uh, like this type of scaling to be honest I just like it based on what I think it looks like so yeah I'm just scaling it to make it look appropriate with with the character and of course it's giving me trouble so I'm just gonna scale it a little bit back up yeah there we go and it's roughly in the middle so that's okay no problem no need for it to be in the exact middle now we are gonna go back to the uh, BP enemy or the enemy character and we are also going to go to the BP character actions and stats. We are not going to go to the BP interface for the enemy. We're going to do it in the one for the character because you want it to affect even the player. So it's not just about the enemy this time because, you know, the, the uh, indicator will be also shown to the player and not just to the enemy. So over here in the BP interface, we are going to add a new function. I'm gonna call it lock no need for the spaces lock on reticle and we are gonna add an input we're gonna call it locked on with a question mark and if it is true we are gonna show it if it's false we are not gonna show it so that's how simple it is we're gonna go back to the BP enemy and I know this one is very unorganized we are gonna definitely gonna fix that but not now you know we can fix it by doing comments and collapsing stuff into nodes or even like putting stuff in different graphs but right now we are just gonna focus on the lock on thingy we have this lock on reticle widget and we are just gonna drag it to get a reference then we are gonna set hidden in game And you want to copy this and put it like this and connect it here and we want to change this depending on if we are locked on or not so basically I'm just gonna do event lock on reticle and here we go so now we want to change the set hidden in game based on this variable and we are going to change the variable in the BP base depending on if we are logged on to the enemy or not. So we are just going to do this a branch. And we are going to ask it, is it logged on? And if it is logged on, then we are going to disable hidden in game. So it's no longer hidden and you can actually see it. And if it's false, if you are not logged on, we are going to hide it again. And we actually didn't hide it in the first place. So with the lock on reticle widget selected, you should go to the one where it asks you hidden in game. Here it is. And you want to check that. And then you compile. It should actually work if we add the code to the BP base. So we are just going to go there and we're going to go to the combat graph. And we have the lock on, which is over here. The part where we are going to work is actually over here. So we want to enable the event that we've just made after we lock on and we lock off or we lock on and we lock off. So we get it from the nearest enemy. Just drag out of here and type in lock on reticle. So I'm just going to check out all of the options because sometimes it's, yeah, it's just one of them. So over here we have this one and we are going to copy it and do it over here. So this is basically when we lock on, we check, we get the nearest enemy. We make sure that they are an enemy. We lock on and then we 
enable the lock on reticle so we change this variable which will in turn you know change stuff here so yeah that's how it is over here when we want to lock off you just could, when you lock off you connect it over here and you make sure that the check is off and then it will actually no longer uh, be true so if you compile it will work but there will actually be an issue so if you go to the enemy actually let's keep the sword out it's looking cooler and you lock on you can actually see that it works but when you lock off it will not go oh yeah it will go away however when you kill the enemy there will be a problem it will actually stay there and yeah as you can see it's still there so the way to fix it is to just go back to the bp enemy and we're gonna do it in the actual event tick so during the event tick after we update the stats and do everything we are gonna just branch or you know you can do it as a sequence in case you want to do other stuff so i'm just gonna do a sequence then a branch and we want to check if the enemy's health is less than or equal to zero and if that is true then we are also gonna disable the lock on indicator so if you go here and you type in float less than or equal to oh i forgot to press shift okay less than or equal to float and over here you get the enemy like you get the health so just type in health get health points and if it's less than or equal to zero then we will like if it is true then we will um hide it so if you compile and try it again i think it should be gone the problem so let's just go to the enemy take out our sword and oh i forgot to lock on what an idiot yeah if we kill the enemy it goes away and basically things are just solved so i didn't actually try this with multiple enemies i'm just gonna give it a try real quick and see how it works if you copy the enemy and press play and i know the multiple enemy system is a mess we are actually gonna fix it yeah it doesn't work on both enemies as you can see it just chooses one and locks onto them and does the indicator and what happens when we kill the actual enemy yeah the indicator just goes away and then you can lock onto the other enemy everything is great i do think that the actual thingy is way too like it needs to be upper so i'm just gonna raise it a little bit to the stomach and maybe it's a little bit too small maybe we made it too small so i'm just gonna go with 0.2 for the size and if you go to the enemy and try it again you can see that it's looking improved there we go and yeah it's basically looking like dark souls now now it's gone to the side because the actual idle animation tends to lean towards the side a little bit i think the y needs to be zero it just works you know everything else you can fix it by yourself i mean it's very small stuff you can just adjust stuff and do them i think that the character isn't actually in the middle of the uh capsule so that's a problem i think if we do it like this and we make this one a little bit like this and yeah this is it for the tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it and that you are looking forward for more if this was helpful to you guys please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel as we are pushing for 20,000 subscribers and yeah guys i will see you in the next video take care have a great day and bye